What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Survival Let's Play episode. Now as you can see we're in a minecart and that's because I have been kind of busy uh, in between episodes. So let's go ahead and go in here and find out what I've been up to and as you can see we have a villager and this villager has a whole bunch of stuff as you can see my uh, my chest monster is growing right i got an automatic furnace i got a whole bunch of sand smelting up for today's episode because we got a bunch of stuff planned today guys we're gonna be starting work on our brand new spawn base and this is like i said it's gonna be the base that holds all of our stuff for basically the beginning of this series until we start work on our first mega base but like i said i've been kind of busy in between episodes I uh, got a whole bunch of stuff done. I transported a villager. Uh, by the way, I think he is the last villager from that village. Uh, that village has been loaded up, so I'm pretty sure all the villagers have died due to like zombie raids and stuff like that. But anyway, check it out. We've been down in the mines, and we've been doing a bunch of mining, guys. 57. I was going to say 27. That's 57. <laughs> freaking uh what you call it diamonds man and it i mean we we just been at it man i've been doing a lot of the more grindy stuff off camera just because no one wants to sit here and watch me trade with a villager and go over here and enchant all this gear but check it out silk touch for days we got a soul speed that was from the uh piglin actually in one of the uh first episodes infinity mending mending which that guy is a mending villager by the way we'll go check him out but check it out guys we got one of the best picks that you can get uh, I just need to put mending on it up that efficiency to efficiency 5 and that would be perfect uh, we got a couple low levels over here and I'm actually using the ladle of doom so check it out let's equip it man this thing's awesome ladle of doom so what does it have it has efficiency 5 silk touch unbreaking 3 and mending guys this shovel is going to be with us for the entire season. If I lose this shovel, I'm going to be very, very sad. Actually, it's a ladle. But anyways, here she is. I, I called her a he uh, earlier. Excuse my apologies, Mindy, because you sell the book Mending. Get it? Mindy? Mending? And it's a girl's name, so it's a girl. Huh? Boom. Silk touch. Not only does Mindy have Mending... Mindy has silk touch and it has a paper trade. I'm gonna try to lower these. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna try to convert her into a zombie villager, then back into a villager. And I'm pretty sure when you cure them, it lowers the trade um, for for all of these pretty much. And these are you know loyalty, impaling three, which is pretty cool just to have. Um, also trades for ink sacks, which is pretty handy because I have been farming a little river right outside of our hobbit hole right here and they spawn in abundance lanterns that's why i have a whole bunch of lanterns everywhere uh, i've just been basically doing a bunch of trading guys and a bunch of mining and check it out name tags oh yeah so there is one more thing that i've been kind of working on well i guess that's not really I've, i haven't really been working on it but uh i kind of found it but it is in the nether so let's go ahead and chuck a pearl and let's go ahead and go into the nether really quick talk about what i found boom check it out guys we have found the basalt biome here in the nether. I went ahead and did a little bit of exploring off camera. And to be honest with you guys, this is not far from our uh, nether portal at all. And I'm pretty sure if we move our nether portal to where I want to move it, it'll even be closer to this biome. So that's all good news. And this is actually the key biome for this Let's Play, guys. I wanted to find this biome straight off the bat. And it looks like we've accomplished that goal because check it out. We could just come up in here. No disturbances really. There, there are, uh, I think, magma slime spawn in here. Oh, speak of the devil. Check it out. What's up, little buddy? Um, you're gonna hurt us, so let's go ahead and kill you. Check it out. Blackstone. And what is this stuff? Basalt. Okay, so this stuff is the some of the new building materials that were introduced into uh, 1.16. And they were definitely the first building materials to catch... Whoa, check it out. To catch my uh, interest, just because... Dude, like the polished versions of them, even this ver version looks really, really cool, and I cannot wait to start experimenting with them. I haven't really even done any building in uh, creative with them or anything like that. I wanted to save it all for this Let's Play world and just check out the ambiance, man. Hold on. Hold on. What's what's the uh, what's the key? F8. Oh man, just check this out. Hold on. I'm gonna shut up really quick.
Boy, have I been busy, guys. I have been super busy uh, smelting up the, the sand uh, and, you know, getting sand, which takes forever. Smelting up sand takes forever, so we might need to build up a couple more of those automatic fern eye. But here we go. Like I said, smelting up sand, and I've also been down in the mines, mining up some diorite. And uh, here it is. You know, this is a little template of our spawn base, starter base location, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I believe, so it's, it's basically going to be like a, a giant dome. A uh, giant sphere that is sunken into the ground halfway. So we're gonna cut it off right here, and it's gonna be all glass and diorite. It's gonna look beautiful, amazing. Um, but this is 41 by 41 as a sphere, and I think I might up that uh, when we actually start, you know, building it. But uh, what is this? Hey, what does this button do? Oh yeah! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. And that's just a little taste of what's to come because I plan on doing a bunch more with TNT. But uh, we got to get the rest of this stuff mined out and cleared out. We're basically going to flatten this area, make the dome, and then kind of terraform around the dome. So kind of rebuild the land over it. But yeah. All right, so we were going to build this base in a third-person time-lapse. But somewhere along the line, I guess the uh, time-lapse footage got corrupted. So it is what it is. Um, you know, but the base is built. The area is cleared and it looks prestigious uh, let's go ahead and hop back into the game and I guess I'll go ahead and you know show you around so have you guys ever been like halfway through something and then all of a sudden you just kind of have a change of heart and you just change plans entirely well you know hi my name's Hims. that's kind of what I did right now <laughs> so as you can see there's nothing really behind me and this is where that little mound of dirt and uh, stone was we went ahead and cleared it flattened it out and I did not end up building my little starter base here but we are gonna have some farms up here so there is a reason why I still cleared it out you know it's not uh, you know all the work did not go to waste but the base is built it is right in front of me uh, as soon as I press F5, you guys are going to see it. So let's go ahead and press it. <gasps> oh, my boom. There it is. And yeah, not, I don't know. <laughs> it's all right, right? I mean, I like it. Honestly, okay. I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Um, I like it. I like the shape. I like the size. It's still 41 by 41, and it's a little bigger than I honestly wanted. So it's good that we didn't go bigger. But a uh, funny thing about this. So, okay, let me just fill you guys in. It's going to be kind of a talky bit from here on out. But so it's been like three days since that last cut, right? Um, a lot of things went wrong. <laughs> basically, I used this uh, website called Plots, and uh, it basically generates a sphere for you in the sh in in Minecraft blocks, basically in layman's terms. Um, I usually don't use that website for domes, but since this is my this is the biggest dome that I've ever built in Minecraft, so I had to use Plots. Um, and and th this just goes to show you guys, this is going to be my starter base, basically, and it's the biggest dome I've ever built. So we are going hard this let's play guys we're going to be building as big as i've ever built in minecraft we're going to be making huge farms i mean it's going to be dope but anyway this is not really finished and the funny thing with this is i built it and then i was like oh no i built it one <laughs> one block too high so i was like oh no so now i have to come in here and i i went in here and i got glass and i just placed a block on every single block on the inside so and then came out on the outside and then mined it all out so basically rebuilt it one block lower, and if you've played Minecraft for a long time, you know how irritating that is, man. One block lower, built the whole dome, one block lower, realize, oh wait, I built it right the first time. <laughs> Don't ask me. Don't ask me why I do this to myself, dude. So I built it right the first time, so I was like, okay, well I'm not going to rebuild the dang dome. The dang dome of doom, the dang doomiest dome you've ever domed doom in your dome, domiest life. I'm not going to build it a third time, dude. So I went in here and I just kind of uh, terraformed. You know, I just terraformed the land back uh, down. I terraformed it down one block and then I'm going to actually peel this land back a little bit more so this path can go straight for a little while, while longer. And yeah, um, this is the... This is basically the base of the base. I mean, that sounds stupid. Let me let me think of another word. So this is basically the foundation for the base there. That sounds better. But anyway, right here, um, you know, there's going to be a lot more detail throughout the whole thing. But right here, this is the main entrance. So I want to have like this little entr entryway that comes down and then like kind of surrounds the road a little bit. Make it look futuristic. Uh, I might even have tubes coming off of here that go... 
into like farms or something like that and then out the back right here I already know what I want to do out the back it's gonna be a sugarcane farm and we are actually going to take this road we're gonna take it out back here and it's gonna go uh, kind of in the center of this pool and that's where I will have the sugarcane farm I feel like that would look really cool coming off the back here But let's go ahead and go inside and as you guys can see it's not really just a dome like we're, we're gonna be able to go down right here And I have huge plans for this little area and uh, I'm gonna have slime bo blocks right here with like pressure plates So when you walk on the pressure plates boing it'll bounce you up instead of always having to you know use the ladders and, and whatnot But this is the storage area and it's a bunch of storage um, and even though this is just my starter base, my little spawn base, we are going to have a lot of items here. And particularly, uh, a lot of bulk. A lot of bulk items. So as you guys can see, I already have a bunch of items going. Just from all the terraforming I've been doing, from all the mining I've been doing, I have a bunch more blocks that I need to bring over from my base and my mo little mining area. Yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm kind of toying with the area of having another little area that goes down uh, even further, but I don't know we'll have to play around with that and as you can see there's like this little Underside area of the pathway. This is just where I'm putting the bulk storage. We might put some other things going off uh, You know other little rooms like going this way and stuff like that Maybe like an enchanting room stuff like that and then right here is my little bedroom What do we that's a mob proof doorway by the way if you guys didn't know uh, they can't pathway or pathfind through the blocks because they think that there's just two blocks there They don't know Hey, I could squeeze through this little gap if I tried hard enough, but here it is, um, you know, this is a bedroom. It's nothing really that fancy, to be honest. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I still got to, like, put some spruce doors and, you know, polish it off a little bit, but, you know, it's a nice little bed. Got some trap doors um, underneath some dirt, <laughs> but that's cool. That's a pretty cool roof. I've seen it on, where did I see this at? I think I saw it in one of Scar's builds uh, off of the Hermitcraft server, and I just really like the idea of that, so I went ahead and used those, and yeah, I mean, like I said, guys, like three days has passed. The whole weekend has passed, pretty much, and, uh, you know, it, it was enough time for me to build the dome twice, uh, peel back the landscape, completely change my plans, uh, I also relocated like the sugarcane farm and stuff like that. You know, I've just been doing like little, little, uh, little, little bits and bobs, I guess you could say. Jeez, I was stuttering. I also have this little thing, which is an automatic uh, honey bottle farm. So basically, when this little beehive gets to a honey level of five, the comparator pulls that signal strength out of five, ow, and it sends that signal strength into this torch, which turns off that torch and turns on that torch, which sends a signal into the dispenser, which has a bunch of glass bottles in it, which boom, has a whole bunch of honey bottles. So this thing has been going on pretty much the whole time I've been building this thing. And uh, you know, that's gonna be, that's gonna come in handy for like uh, honey blocks and stuff like that when we start getting into some serious redstoning. Um, and I was thinking that I could use the honey blocks for those little launch pads down here in the meantime until we get slimes, but they don't work exactly like slime box. So you can't really like bounce off of them or whatever. So aside from that, I just been doing a bunch of mining and I've also been doing some enchanting. So check it out. We got silky smooth with some uh, little flavor text on the side. Um, you can get that. I just Googled like a uh, Minecraft or I, I no, I Googled special characters that you could put in Minecraft or something like that. But anyway, efficiency five, unbreaking three, silk touch mending. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this pick in the beginning of the episode, but we basically refined it into uh, what I was talking about back then. So sun's going down. Let's go ahead and sleep really quick. And I'm really just trying to think of everything that I've been doing over the weekend because, like I said, two or three days have passed. I know I said it four times already. Oh, yeah, so one more thing, and I can actually go grab this and show you. But uh, I went into the nether to mine some quartz and to do some trading with the piglins. And I, I ended up deciding to go throughout that piglin bastion that we found and just explore it a bit more. And there were, it was a good thing because there was like five or six chests that I had missed. But check out what was in one of the chests guys I cannot believe my luck and look at this ancient debris so this is what we're gonna be after this whole season guys and I can't believe we are already have one uh, in episode 3 I mean that's that's amazing to me oh gosh I was gonna say forever we don't have to have silk touch for it right I've never placed it down okay there we go and yeah all we have to do is smelt it to get an ancient scrap 
and then four of those scraps turn into an ingot. So we still need three more of these bad boys for it to be useful, but that just kind of blew my mind, and uh, I might have dropped in the footage, I don't know, when I was editing, so you might have seen me in the Piglin Bastion, but yeah, I mean, I just thought that was awesome. I uh, can't wait to get some more of those, obviously. We're, I think the first thing we're going to change into Netherite is probably going to be our pick uh, whenever we get a fortune pick, so that'll be nice. But that is all the time that I have for today. This was a very long episode to make and produce uh, due to, you know, my own fault of building the dome correctly, but mistaking it for me building it wrongly. So building it again and then realizing it was right the first time, I guess. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment as well. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And leave a comment for what kind of designs or, you know, what kind of uh, decorations we should put on this dome. I already have some stuff in mind, but go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, comments are always appreciated. And, if, you know, if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.